Good evening, July 28th, about 9 o'clock uh, here in the Mountain West. Starting off with a little different um, topic here because what has just happened is going to impact all of us on planet Earth. Um, to those who may not know, we have a filament that has released on the sun and it's been a while in fact it's been a pretty good while since the earth uh, is actually in the um, bullseye so what am I talking about let's go here and I think you will see and watch this area right here ready right there that, folks, is, and I'll stop it. We'll try to, okay. So this area right here is the filament that has released and actually has ejecta with it. There it is right there. So let's go back and get a um, another view on this and let's see what it looks like here in you'll be able to see it here as well there it is you can see it right there it's releasing so it um it's going to obviously have a shock wave to um what we're actually going to see to the uh earth um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with these charts but they're uh, very good charts and we can begin to see what the data is looking like and let's pull up this chart here yeah so you can already see that the phi angle is reacting uh, this is speed well over 600 kilometers a second and it's getting hot so this is um, going to obviously impact the earth. Earthquakes, I think, will be definitely um, a real possibility. I also believe that there will be uh, typhoons uh, that will be forming. Uh, well, we know that they're forming very much in the Atlantic. I mean, excuse me, the Pacific. It's the absence in the Atlantic. So I think that what we'll do, I'll cut this one short, but I wanted to end on this. Again, I'm doing the research, and by the way, uh, I agree with a lot of what you're, uh, any of you have asked. Let's start seeing what we can do. Um, great suggestions. In fact, I have enough research just by the suggestions y'all are doing uh, that's going to keep me busy for a little bit. And I'm um, looking forward. Thank you. Thank you, uh, each and every one of you. I appreciate you tuning in. And I certainly appreciate uh, the suggestions. And um, I always like pointing this in the right direction. So as you can see very quickly, we have a flow coming here right above Malaysia and the Philippines. We still have this flow coming down. And let's uh, even get a little closer. So there you go. Right there. This one's becoming much more obvious. Let's go over here into the Atlantic. And of course, we've just seen this. One of the things I'd like to point out uh, as well is that this is the equator. This is the Tropic of Capricorn. The southern jet stream has crossed way over the Tropic of Capricorn and is getting closer and closer up here to the equator itself. Don't know about you but I don't believe <laughs> that is quite normal either uh, and again um, I'm telling you folks I really 
this whole area in the Indian Ocean just bears watching. There's something going on here. Um, 